Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the FPGA mean field zero two coding. Okay. So from previous video, we have the um system block like this. Okay, like this. So now it's time to uh, program it. So let's open our Visual Studio Code here. We leave one file. The first things as usual, we added some common information. Okay. So this is mean filter module. Uh, we save it. We save it as the mean field. Save. Okay, we save it into this folder and it is dot v save. Okay, so the first things we will create the module. So this is the module. Uh, mean field, input clock, reset, enable, data input, data output, done output. It will match uh, all the signal here. Clock, reset, enable, date, date out, done out, date in, okay? So this is uh, the define for the module. This is the define for the module. Next, we will edit some variable define. Okay. So it is here. So this is a mi and uh, this is a maximum value. This is a minimum. It's eight bit. This is the sum. This is number. This number is keep the uh, input data number. So means tell us how many data has been put into the module. Okay. So next, we will do the uh, here. We will do the sum function. Okay. The sum function is just uh, sum up all the data. Here is ten data. Okay. So let's take a look how we do it. So we use one always, always block. Here, when the system is reset, the sum value is reset to zero. When the system enable signal is high level, the sum value will um, edit every input data. Okay. It will edit every input data. When the enable signal, when the enable signal is zero, the sum value reset reset to zero. Okay. So this is the sum. Next, let's take a look here. We need to figure out the mean minimum value. Okay. Minimum value. So we use one always block to find the minimum value. So it will be like this. Okay. So when the system is reset, we put the minimum register reset to FF is 8B. If the input signal the enable input signal is 1 and the input data is less than this default value, this mean minimum value, then we will put the input data into the minimum register. Okay? If the enable signal is 0, we will reset the minimum register as ff 8b data okay so this is a uh, minimal algorithm 
how to find the minimum value. Next step, we will find the maximum, how to find the maximum, okay? So similarly, we will use one always block. Okay, this is another always block. When system is reset, the maximum will be reset to zero. Uh, minimum reset to FF, but the maximum reset to zero. If the input signal is one, and the data, the input data greater than the maximum value, we will put the input data into the maximum register. Okay. If the enable signal is zero, we will reset the maximum value as zero too. So this is the maximum. How we find the maximum value from the input data. Okay. So next, we will to um, calculate the output data. We use this function to calculate the output data. Before we do this, we need one another always block to calculate how many input data. Once we have 10 data, we can do this calculation. Okay? So we need another one always block like this. It will remember the input data. If the um, if the enable signal is one, then every input clock the number will increase by one. The number register will increase by one. If the number already 10, then reset to zero, okay? If the enable signal is zero, we will reset the number register to zero, okay? So this number register is to remember the 10 data here, okay? Once we have all this data, we can calculate the output data, okay? We use another one, uh, the last one always block, to calculate. So it's like this. Okay. For this always block, when the system reset, we put the output data, we reset output data as zero, the down signal as zero. If the enable signal is one, and the number register equal to 10, we use this function to calculate the data out, the output data. This shift three bit means uh, we divided this result by eight. Okay, shift three b means divided by eight. Once we have the output data, we can output the down signal as one. For other situation, we put all the output data and the output down signal as zero. Also, if the enable signal is zero, we reset the output data and the output down signal as zero too. Okay. So the last things we needed to edit the end module here. Okay. We added the end module here. 
So let's go go over review it again. Go to review the code again. This is a module name. This is input output signal. Clock reset enable. Date input date output and done signal. This is a register value, maximum, minimum, sum, number, data number. Keep the input data number. Okay. Here, we calculate the sum. Here, we calculate the minimum value. Here, we calculate the maximum value. Here, we count the input data number. The last always block. We calculate the output data by this function, by this formula. Okay. So this is the whole code for the mean field algorithms. Okay. For the FPGA mean field algorithms. Next video, we will um, create the test bench and uh, simulate the result. Okay, this is Michael. See you next time.